Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, we will learn how you can use web view to design any cool storybook, notes book type of application using Android Studio. Within Android Studio, there's something called web view that allows us to display HTML files, HTML pages on your mobile app as a native web component. So you would find that it's just a web app. However, when you scroll it, it will be web pages, web layout, but to the user, it will appear completely with like within an app. It's a very easy and intuitive way of developing very simple apps like story apps, like displaying locations, maps, whatever the information you want to show as an HTML page, you design it and then you display it on your mobile phone. My name is Dr. Sean Bardi. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe to the channel. You will find that on my channel, there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP, Mel scripting, Maya, Maya embedded language, uh, 3D graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and receive notifications regularly. Let's begin. So now what I've done already is that uh, we have created a simple two activities. We have created one button. This is the main activity that says children's storybook. All you need to do, we need to do is as soon as I click on it, another activity loads and it displays us that particular HTML page. Now, uh, this is just a simple constraint layout with a button and a content tag. Then we created another story called activity story, which is completely blank. We will add it. So there is no code behind it. And this is also blank. This is also blank. So I just designed a few basic interface, created a new activity. To create a new activity, you go inside Java, right click new, go into activity and create a new blank activity or any other activity you want. So I've done all the code here. Then I need something called an HTML file. So what I've done is that I've written already an HTML file for you. So HTML body, h1 tag, h2 tag. This is a simple HTML tag that will display to us this particular web page. So this is a standard, simple, very simple web page. You can design any basic web page content you want. Okay, so what I have done is that now basically I want this app to be displayed inside my Android Studio. How we do that? We come inside my Android Studio back again. In my Android Studio, I, when I click on this button, it should take me to the second activity. So first of all, I go inside the main activity.java. I come inside this button, make sure I name it as button uh stor story one so i know that okay this is my story one app and i can have as many stories as i want then inside my main activity i will come and i will say uh bu -T -T button oops i think my caps lock is on bu -T -T button btn is equals to find view by id r dot id dot and this will be button story one semicolon so fetch the button from the layout once this button is available what we need to do is button dot oops set on click listener inside this we will apply on views new -E view okay so this is the code that we write for our on click listener if you are listening to the first time uh, I have I will leave the link down below in the description. I have already discussed this in detail. We fetch the button. We set an event listener on a particular button that when user clicks on it, a certain amount of code on click will occur. Within this on click, we will use something called intent. Int is equals to new intent. Okay, and then we will use it get application context, and then we will pass it the activity name. So it can be for example story. Oops, you daisy do. The activity name will be story as the activity. The name will be as the story dot class file semicolon. So now what we do here is we use the intent int, I think in I n double T. Uh, okay. Uh, let me use my intent. Okay. So in now, what intent does is it talks between different activities. So it will talk between activity one and activity two. We can use it to pass data between activities or switch between different activities. So I've used an intent here is equal to new intent, get application context means get the context of the current application. There can be many application runnings. Find me the current application. Once you do that, then go inside the story activity. Now, story activity is the activity different page that will be loaded in my system. Okay, this one. So what I told my uh, this activity that when I click on this button, load me this activity dot class file, which is again Java's bytecode file. Once this is done, I will write start this activity, my int. Okay. So we have created an intention and we have executed this code. 
What these two done is that it it will allow us to switch between one activity to another activity. On click event means that once a user clicks on it, then switch between the activities. So as soon as this activity is loaded, my story. Now what we want, we want a web view component. So inside this recycler, I will go inside my widgets and I will go web view, drag and drop the web view component here, making sure it fills the entire screen. Just blag it, blog it, and just pin this thing in the constraint view. Okay, so all four constraints are set with one one pixel. I don't mind, and my web view has been created. Let me name this as uh, story view, or let me just say web view, right? To make things more easy to understand. So I gave it an ID as a story web view. My ID is said this is the web view component. By default, it will look gray. Do not worry about it. This is where we will tell it that once I click on this button, I want a web view event to occur. So inside this story activity, I will go again on on create that whenever this this activity loads, what we need to do, we tell it that first find the web view component. Uh, web is equals to find view by ID and r dot id dot story web view same thing so every time we need to access a component from a layout to a java file this is the code we use find view by id r dot id and then we have to know which component we are accessing so that we can assign that component to a java file once this is done that basically means now now web view has the access of your java code if you find a red line here just simply press alter enter by pressing an alter enter it will resolve the issue or click on this uh, bulb red bulb and it will resolve the issue by importing the statement all you need to ensure is that this statement is imported if it is not alter enter will solve the problem the clicking on bulb will tell you what to do and it should resolve the issue okay now once we are here um, okay it asked me to split the view so we did that now basically what we need to do is we say web dot load url and now we need to give it to the url of the file that we want to load but we still haven't imported the file inside our Android Studio resource file. So what we do is we go inside oops, our desktop and in my system, basically in my D drive, I have something called resources. I have saved the file here. So I need to import this file inside my assets folder of my Android Studio. Where's my Android Studio gone? Here it is. Okay, so inside the Android Studio, what we click on, go inside the app, right click, new, and we need to insert something called assets folder, folder, assets folder. Okay, now assets are like your resources, your important stuff. So in your Android Studio, assets are your external files that you are using within your code. So I will use assets folder, name it, main target, leave it blank, click on finish, everything is done. You would now find there's an asset folder here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to import our HTML file and inside this asset folder. So we say simply copy it, control C, asset folder, control V. It will ask me wolf story. Sometimes it's recommended you use a small letters for whatever purpose. Click OK. Once you do that, you would find that you're inside your asset folder, your wolf story is imported. So simply copy paste thing asset folder is there now i've created asset folder by default you can create a blank folder yourself but once you specify app new create a folder asset folder now these are the some predefined folder whose information already is known to your studio okay so once you do that it understands that this file is there so the html is there now i go back inside my story activity inside the load file what i need to write is i would say go inside the file colon triple backslash ndroid android underscore asset slash single this time wolf story dot html so now what we need to do is uh, we create a web view we assign it a reference to the layout web view we said web dot load url that's it load a url and give it a path now this is file triple backslash remember this is a triple backslash triple backslash triple backslash i'd spend an hour just because i forgot that this was triple backslash and gave me a long hard issue uh, somehow it uses a triple backslash now this is the default path of your assets folder it's saved in the system so no matter whether your app is stored in your memory or in your sd card or somewhere else this path will always point to your assets folder so we said file colon 
ट्रिपल बैक स्लैश एंड्रॉइड एसेट बैक स्लैश वुल्फ स्टोरी डॉट एस टी एम एल सो वी गेव इट अ पार्थ ऑफ दिस एस टी एम एल फाइल वो दिस शुड डू इज इट वुड लोड माई एच टी एम एल फाइल एब्सोलूटली करेक्टली इन माई वेब व्यू बट देन देर आर फ्यू अदर सेटिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू सो दिस वुड मीन दैट एज सोन एज दिस एप इज क्रिएटेड दिस एक्टिविटी स्टोरी फाइल इज लोडेड ऑन क्रिएट विल क्रिएट दिस वेब व्यू असाइन दिस यू आर एल एंड इट विल बी लोडेड इन माई सिस्टम एज सिंपल एज दैट If you want to do some more tweaking to it, you can do that as well. For now, let's just test this. Okay, my app is running. The storybook app, the boy who cried. I again, I've not got into the complete app development concept, so I've just started this basic activity. So as soon as I click on a load this button, it will load this story, and voila, here you are, the boy who cried, and my story is there. So it appears as uh, we wanted to. Now you can add a padding. you can add a top padding you can apply some css styles here uh, to design your html as appropriately as you want uh, but because we have our font available uh, in this way this is what we do so because this is html and if you know your html you can customize this html as you like but here's the story so if i go back and this page comes up click on this it will start my html page as simple as that and now you can build many story books many notes apps many lecture apps where you click on chapters and the information in form of html can be loaded up very easily you can read the story books where you can have many stories in an html form making it a web view a very essential component a lightweight component as well where you can easily create very nice stuff so i hope you understand this um, and if you have any problem any issues do leave your comment down below and we will see it back thank you for watching see you